in Holly Springs, Mississippi. Atheist A logo found near graffiti at site of burned down Mississippi church. On May 20th, First Pentecostal Church in Holly Springs, Mississippi was burned to the ground shortly after the church sued the city over its stay-at-home orders. The lawsuit was prompted by police breaking up Bible studies and Easter services after members of the congregation refused to comply with the city's strict social distancing guidelines. The arsonist is alleged to have left graffiti on the parking lot reading, Bet you stay home now, hypocrites with hypocrites spelled incorrectly. Um, A photograph of the graffiti also appears to show an anatomic symbol with an A in the center, a symbol commonly associated with atheist groups. Mm. So far, no suspect has been identified in relation to this crime. So what is the the implication is that what? Somebody, an atheist activist burned down the church or that it was burned down and they, 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 they... came after and drew this graffiti or what is like what is the implication here that that the atheist burned down the church that is seemingly the implication All right. but so there's there's three scenarios either an atheist activist burned down the church and they left their mark there or there was a church burned down and an atheist activist or whatever, an atheist person came out and said like, ha ha, look at you, where's your God now? Atheist symbol after. Or the third scenario, there's third possibility is that somebody who wants to make atheists look bad, burn down the church and put their name on it to be like, look, oh, look, make, like bad marketing for atheists, right? Again, that third one is the le- least likely one, okay? I know a lot of atheists are always biased and try to be like, no, there's no way an atheist did this, 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 this is framing. While the third option is a possibility that somebody was just trying to make atheism look bad, Occam's razor, you know, if you apply Occam's razor, that's the least likely scenario, okay? Um, I mean, it is possible, but not likely. Uh, so don't be biased, don't be tribal, don't be like, oh, no, this was not an atheist. It probably was an atheist, right? Do you guys think that? Well, I'm okay, so what, what do you think about this? Like, I mean, during the lockdown and uh, quarantine and everything, like churches are losing members and if, uh, like they're probably losing money as well. So they probably just burned it down uh, uh, to get that insurance money. No, and not they- probably. It's not probably. It's possible. But, you know, the things that are possible are close to infinite, right? But just because something is possible, we shouldn't treat it as probable. We might, and and it will show. It would be very biased. Like imagine if this was somebody burned down the church, and they wrote like "Allah Akbar" everywhere on there, right? We will still like we have actually we have been very fair, right? It would be like as an anti-Islam activist here it would be very easy for us to be like, oh look what look what Islam does, like they violent Islam. But every time an atheist republic. We always, we, I think we have always mentioned that there's a chance that somebody was trying to make Muslim look bad, okay? That is not the most likely answer, but it is a possibility, right? And in this scenario, we have to be consistent. There is a chance that somebody was trying to make atheists look bad, but it's not the most likely scenario. So we shouldn't be tribal about the positions that we take here. It's not the most likely scenario. Like, who would, like, imagine, like, who would go out of their way to burn down a church for, I mean, your scenario is more likely, uh, Shopam, than, than just, you know, but I don't think, I mean, people don't risk criminal offense for insurance money that often. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you are found, I mean, it is, it does happen, um, <laughs> but it's not, on, on average, when you see some, a church being burned down, the more likely scenario is that the owners didn't burn it down, okay? So don't I, I are you guys tempted like why are you saying that, Shopam? Are you tempted to not blame this on atheists? You're being biased. No, I mean I mean, yeah, there I know there are atheists stupid enough to do stupid shit. Right. <laughs> and yes, but this this just looks so like they even left a mark with 
it's it's just too bizarre to me like they burned it down okay i i could take that some random uh, fucking atheists just burned down the church they also left that sign and uh, the yep. text yep. there on the ground that's just maybe too they maybe they didn't burn it themselves maybe they were like saw a burning church and they were like aha look at these stupid christian the church burned down and they went and wrote it after i mean that is still stupid but um that is all like the second option is also a possibility right um one thing i would say that like look how fair we're being though like we're posting like we posted this on our facebook page it got like a lot of shit kind of reaction like i one thing i would point out like i'm not you know we don't we don't defend all we don't represent all atheists we don't defend all atheists we only defend atheist republic and our own community right um i mean our own staff not even our community because our yeah. community, sometimes our community is fucking stupid and <laughs> horrific shit so we only defend we only defend our team members right so and we have been very you know like do you see how many islamic groups out there and go post muslims committing crimes in the name of islam right they don't they hide that shit right we don't we don't hide this shit we post it like like we posted this on facebook and we didn't even the caption doesn't even say doesn't even come up with like an excuse or any framing of the story that might be tried to act defensive we posted this on our facebook page with two million followers and it just has the title and the link. Atheist A logo found near graffiti at site of a burned down Mississippi church and the link and post. Right? Like we this is atheism related and we posted it. Like we're not I mean we're a pretty unbiased group. Like so, so it's funny because people uh you know people say like oh my god look at this you don't you guys don't post about atheists doing shit like this like no we actually do you just you just haven't seen us do it but we do it every time every time something happens that it seems like atheists might have done some stupid shit in the name of atheism if it crossed our radar it was posted every time right so we're not at all be like oh my god this is gonna make atheism look bad so let's not post this no, we, like, we I don't want to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chose this as well, the news because we need to call this out. Right. Dress exactly. it to, to, uh, I want to say to all the Hindu nationalists out there, like, will be there in the comment section blaming me that I only speak against Hinduism because I suggested this news, okay? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, we don't, yeah, we're not, I mean, I mean I'm very proud of us. <laughs> we're so unbiased for sexist. Well, we're so... <laughs> I think it's really important to say so like even in the article it was posted like and I saw a lot of people talking about this on Twitter and people immediately wanted to jump to saying like oh this is a false flag event you know like this is like Shubham said like someone trying to um, file for insurance fraud perpetrate insurance fraud potentially or oh they're just trying to frame the community blah 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 or we don't know that we can't say that because we don't know that and we have to be skeptical and we have to be honest and i think it's interesting to say that um like obviously atheists don't have a across the board logo right um we're not all united under the same logo just this kind of adam a logo is um, no, you know, I don't even of, like that logo. Yeah, I mean, me neither. <laughs> it's kind of known and associated, and it is actually um, very similar to the logo that American atheists American use. atheists, yeah. And they put out a s explicit statement condemning this. Um, and they said, I hope that the perpetrator is brought swiftly to uh, justice and held account for their actions. No one should face violence of any kind because of their religion or lack thereof. No matter what our disagreements may be, <laughs> violence is never the appropriate response. And um, I'm disgusted that anyone would associate a symbol of our community with something so incompatible with our values as atheists. Mm. Um, um, and then I think Nick, it was Nick Fish, he's the president, I think he said something... No. Like my thoughts are with the, microphone the families no. of the church at this okay. time. Rivka, your so microphone. He... Rivka, your microphone needs to be lower. Sorry. Ah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, I was just saying, so he, you know, he is thinking about the church. He's, you know, calling it out like Susanna was saying, right. you know, that this isn't who they think they are and he doesn't believe in violence. But I think your point is well taken that, you know, anybody is capable of anything. And it's important to remember and to say that, like you were saying, everyone wanted to say it was a false flag. Well, that's because it's your group. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it might have been, a, it might be a false flag, but that shouldn't be your go to Who conclusion. Who knows? We don't yeah. know. They haven't done enough investigation. This is just a preliminary thing. But if you have a knee jerk reaction as an atheist to go with that being the most likely out scenario, mm -hmm. then you are being tribal, right? Exactly. If that is like, if you're being mm -hmm. trying to look at every excuse to make this seem like maybe this was not an atheist, then you have to check into your own biases. Colin, Colin in the Facebook comment section is saying the poor spelling definitely indicates that the, the work of a Christian. So, <laughs> <laughs> these, I mean, I'm hoping that's a joke because we all know there's a lot of stupid atheists out there. Like, come on, guys. Uh, but said that Kevin in the Mattis article. said it too. He, he said, said in the article. Yeah, he no said way. it too. Yeah, he said, <laughs> I think the poor spelling <laughs> indicates this probably isn't an atheist or the misspelling of hip hypocrite. It, really? Hamid <laughs> Mehta is assuming that atheists cannot are, are not bad at spelling? Like, come on, guys. This is very biased. It's kind of a well-known, it's kind of a, like, joke that people make about... I mean, the article. And yeah, it's it, as joke is fine. And jokes are fine. But, <laughs> right. I mean, jokes are fine, but if you actually mean it, then you com you have not met a lot of atheists. Okay. So, <laughs> yeah. It, John, it could be a joke because he, um, uh, like, say, mentioned several questions and, and separate paras. So, it could be like he, he's just jokingly questioning what atheists would do this to. Somebody else is saying it had this had to be put had to be put there first to scorch marks would have what so wait actually they're atheists defending this trying to say that this is not atheist and they're misspelling in the comment section so they're actually proving that atheists do misspell. Um, I mean I'm okay, dyslexic. No. Like <laughs> I can't even read this. Okay, so this person is trying to say this is bullshit, this is not an atheist. They're coming up with their own conspiracy theory for why this was not an atheist. I don't understand what the point is, but I think you guys are being biased. Again, if the news comes out and say, like, this was not an atheist or whatever, some people are going to be like, oh, see, Armin, you were wrong. How could I be wrong when I say we don't know? Like, I'm just I'm saying it's possible. It's, you know, just because something is unlikely, that doesn't mean it's impossible. Anyways, news. thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, what has, what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well. And share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized, that's an obvious, on every one of our videos, so F that, but we don't care about that anymore. <laughs> but we also get deprioritized, and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized, what does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right, and all that, you know, on, the, on people's homepages, and that's how channels grow. Unfortunately, we can't grow, so we need you guys to share our videos. 